Community Education Services Canada is a non-profit humanitarian organization whose mandate is to provide education, health care, water, and economic development which stands as a pillar of high quality and substantial performance in education. In August 2010, CES Canada extended their olive branch to Navaholo Secondary School by drilling a borehole for the school and community around. The major agenda of the day has been the generation of the water pump, which was sponsored by CES, and we really appreciate because we have been suffering shortages of water. We have been going to the river sometimes to fetch water. That one eats on our time and conduct hours in class. Having been given the water, I think we shall now settle. And this water is covering not only the secondary, but it's also covering the primary, and the surrounding communities also allowed to come in and draw water. The benefits are quite many. For our school here, the health is being promoted, the time is being saved, and that time is invested in education. For the primary, we are also talking about good health, we are talking about uh, good time saving. For the community, we are talking about uh, clean water, and clean water promotes health and development in the society. I'm glad to see that we have water here. I'm glad to see that, uh, to see that we are today we are inaugurating this uh, water pump. I'm excited and I'm grateful to those who have worked hard to ensure that this, uh, this project takes off. More so, Dennis and Susan Freeman, they are good friends of ours. They are CES board members. They are the ones who helped provide some of the funds that we use for this project. So I must thank them sincerely for what they have done. Not to forget our chairman, or president of CES Canada, Mike Fredrickson, who tirelessly works to ensure that uh, these projects continue. As I said, in Imagi, we shall be coming here to Kule Pamoja. So as students, when you come, we come out primary and secondary, we come and eat it out together here, to Nakunya Pamoja, we will all start thinking together, so that we can grow together, so that we can be successful together. Next time, when Kijan attack and you want I see some Obamas in the making here. So let's, let's, let's use this water as a, a form of bringing us together so that we can all function together. So mine is just a simple task to inaugurate this project. Thank you so much. Today is an important day for SES Kenya because we are uh, uh, the day we have reserved this day to inaugurate the water project uh, which we have just inaugurated and uh, 
and it's not just for Navaholo school, it's Navaholo stroke community water projects. So Navaholo is the second school to receive, uh, uh, to receive the clean water. The first one was a Shitari, which is in Butere, and the second one is Navaholo. And we are looking forward to have two other water projects uh, in the schools that are on the program. In total, we have 15 uh, secondary schools on SES program. And for water, we have provided two now. Navaholo is the second one. And we look forward in the next few months to have uh, two, two, two projects in the two secondary schools. Clean water is a priority for children who are growing up and that's why it was uh, important that uh, we start giving water to the schools that we are sponsoring. And the purpose is we, want st we don't want just to sponsor students to pursue education, but for them to be able to pursue education, they must also stay in a clean environment. And one of them is water. They must uh, have clean water for both washing and drinking. Seth is offering five scholarships to the school. We are right now in 15 schools, but we keep expanding. We're sponsoring, in, the, in our schools, we're sponsoring over 100 students. Right now we are about 105, but our numbers are continuing by the day. Currently they are sponsoring five students. Actually, most of them are a promising lot. We have classes of 100 and above, but most of them are featured in top 10. We have picked them because they come from a poor home and they are good performers. They are doing well, we are monitoring, we record their performance and we see how they have performed and advise them so that they can improve from one position to another one. Well, it noted the, the sponsorship I'm getting from says mm. then I actually maybe I could not have made the, pro the progress that I, I have made up to this stage. Mm -hmm. Because based on my background, yes. I know that uh, there are people who cannot afford, and uh, basically, I'm, I'm like a parent, I suppose. I'm just living with my grandfather. Mm -hmm. My yearning is that uh, I'm also in one of these uh, best universities in Kenya very to good. pursue good. medicine. Medicine, very good. Yes. Thank yeah. you. And you know now the great that they are taking for medicine? Yes. Very high. Yes. So it's you have to aim high. Extremely high. But the books are being supplied as class readers and class texts. Huh? And these are enable students to revise, enable students to refer, they enable students to expand on their knowledge. We have a number of needs at school. As yeah. the school. One, uh, space is a problem. We need a place actually, we need enough room so that these books can be able to be accommodated. Because of the increased population in the school, the students uh, you find that, uh, okay, we used to have tables, we used to have uh, chairs here. Mm. But as uh, the number increased mm. students, mm. some chairs were forced to be taken by students. Mm. So that's the challenge we're having in this place. In computer, we are now able to be using computer. We are able to analyze results. We are able to access educational material from some other areas through computer. And we're also able to be IT compliant as students and as teachers. Seth has economically empowered the school by managing their This has helped the school in providing food for the students. In terms of goals, we are seeking at expanding the number of students that we sponsor. We are also seeking at expanding to other schools, apart from the ones that we are currently involved in. So, with uh, the expansion of the number of students, expansion of our water projects, you'll find that CS will be very much involved within this region and continue partnering with the people we work with. Now, the partnership between CES Canada and CES Kenya is what has made us keep going because the Kenyan CES board works extra hard to ensure that we get our statements on time, we get the projects identified on time. So that partnership is one this smooth has been so smooth and that's why we've been able to, to, to have such a project uh, Going. Through the simple act of giving, Seth's family has been transforming life one at a time in Kakamega. I really appreciate you for your support and I, I wish that may God bless you so much. Because of Seth, I'm here and going through this academic life. Seth's family is worth being appreciated. Seth's family is worth being supported. And Seth uh, is a worthy project that uh, 
uyave bakamakona.